Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Razor. So, welcome back to Let's Play Sui Kaden 3. In the previous episode, we had to go to Brass Castle to deliver a letter to the Knights. We then came back to the castle here, and Thomas said that he couldn't find uh, Sebastian. I wonder what happened, wonder where Sebastian went to. First thing we gotta do, we're gonna do in this episode is go up to Thomas's room and rest. In between episodes, though, I played the lottery and got the complimentary prize here in Lake Castle, Old Book Volume Eight. So yeah, you want to get that if you can. That's the only way to get Old Book Volume Eight is um, do the Lake Castle complimentary prize. And as you can tell, I got other tickets. I played the lottery again, so in 30 minutes I'll check these, and I'll probably get a bunch of money from these. So yeah. Let's go ahead and head to Thomas's room. But yeah, if you get the complimentary prize, and uh, be sure to keep it. Don't reset your game and all that. Because it's pretty rare to get, so... You want to keep it whenever you get the complimentary prize. And then if you don't get enough money, then just just reset, just, just play the lottery again. So, and get a bunch of money the next time. I wonder where he is. Let's go talk to some people and find out where he's at. Alright, so yeah, we gave him Book Volume 8. That's who you give the old books to, so yeah. As you can tell, the old book boy made not my inventory anymore. Because I automatically gave it to him. Let's go downstairs here. Go talk to Mudo. Go ahead and store some stuff. Yeah, that'll do. Alright, so where's Sebastian at? Is that outside here? Oh, here he is. Also, oh, her child's been missing, huh? Yes. He's Thomas. Well, if he's not here, where could he have gone? Yeah, sure, I don't have any soldiers here, but I'll be happy to help you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what I was just saying. Cecile can fight.
<laughs> yeah, we y'all need to fix this place up. I mean, seriously. Find Thomas. Yeah, we're finding a, Thomas is finding a child named Thomas. Yeah. Wow, Mudo, really? Well, he did say in the previous episode that he's all power, not brains. So, yeah. Big muscle head. So, Piccolo and Cecile joined the party. Now, believe it or not, this guy is really good, actually. Later in the game, this guy's got an insane amount of magic. Like, you have no idea how good his magic is later. For now, he's good, but later he is freaking amazing. He's got lightning rune equipped and a mallet rune. Let's go ahead and check them out. Mallet rune. Damage times 2 to 1 foe, lose balance. So, a fortune teller in Lake Castle who was rarely successful in his predictions. Yeah. So, let's go ahead and explore the castle. Alright, not supposed to go in there. Oh, elevator, huh? Yeah, there's always an elevator person in the Suicoden games. Every Suicoden game has an elevator person. Ad Adlay, huh? He was in Suicoden 2. If you played Suicoden 2, remember you had to throw a wooden shield at him? Or... You gotta give him a wooden shield, give him a, uh, trying to think of what else. Oh, Sacrifice of Jizo. And you also had to throw a wind crystal at him, if you remember correctly. That's how you recruited him in part two. Uh, I said downstairs. Any luck finding him? No, you just standing around waiting on people to store stuff. What do we have here? Yeah, if you remember in uh, Hugo's Chapter 1, in one of the previous episodes, that uh, the St. Lord Knight's uh, side quest, we had uh, we saw the ship from a distance, if you remember correctly.
All right, I'm gonna cut the video here and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So I don't, I don't know if we have to go into the ship or not. Let's find out. Nope. All right, we can leave here. I'll explore the ship later on. Don't worry about it. Let's see. Can't open it. Let's head downstairs here. Let's see. There's another elevator you can't open. Got a room here, it's like a storage room. Alright, now we're on the outside area. Go ahead and head down here. Let's go talk to Juan over here. What's up, Juan? Yep. Mount Hato, huh? Hato Mountain? Wow. Are you serious? Yeah, you are. And you all, Juan, Juan joins the party. All right. He's not very good right now either, but he's he'll be very good later on, just like Piccolo. Yeah, that's the thing about the characters in this castle. They start out very weak, but they become very good later on. They have high growth rate. Sounds like a plan. We're going to train our skills though first. Oh, I can't. That's, oh, yeah, I can. Yeah. Alright. We're good. Alright, so. We can get our accuracy up one level. This is what I recommend you raising accuracy up first. Go ahead and get our armor protect up one. I want to save his points for lightning magic. Now, if you remember earlier in the game, 
at the other Bajutsu teachers, it, uh, they would say different things like fairly good match and uh, natural abilities exist and all that. As you can tell, Juan says something different. Like he says, it could be much worse. And then competent, absolutely average, absolutely average. It could be much worse. I believe it could be much worse as a B plus. Absolutely average, I think, is a B. And competent, I think, is an A. I think it won't be easy. Uh, I think it's an A too. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll find out later on though and all that. Alright, so we trained our skills and all that. I'm going to end the video here. In the next episode, we'll go rescue Thomas and, and Mount Hato. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. And be sure to check out my other guides and videos on my channel. Please subscribe. Later.